Hey everyone, this is Vyadi. I hope you all are happily back testing with Backenzo. So in this video, I'm going to talk about how you can set up a combined stop loss onto your portfolio on the basis of the Greek. More specifically, I'll be talking about the Delta Greek here. Okay. So as you can see that it's a short strangle portfolio and I wish to set up a combined stop loss on the basis of the Greek. So how can I achieve that? Just click on to the stop loss setting and here in under the stop loss type, you will have to select the delta type as your stop loss. The moment you click it here, this will come in front of you. That is delta value. If delta goes below, delta goes above. Here in you can set the stop loss range. You can define the stop loss range for your portfolio. That is short strangle portfolio, right? So let us understand this in a better manner. I'll take you to the Excel sheet. So short strangle individual leg one, let's say it is trading at a delta value of 0.48 and the leg two is trading at a, a delta value of minus 0.52. So this adds up to one, right? Now let's suppose that leg one is now trading at 0.52 and leg two is trading at 0.42. Right. So as you can see that there's a delta imbalance of 0 0.10. Right. So 0 0.10 is the delta imbalance. And uh, if you think that uh, I gave command to the back end zone that if the delta imbalance of 0 0.10, if you see, then just square it off. OK. On, and on square off, you can also give command of none, re-execute, square off other port, execute at the port, re-execute at entry price. Okay. So this is how it is. Now I'll take you to the back end interface. So as you can see that uh, this is the range for the stop loss condition of the portfolio. Here then you can define the range. Like uh, I'll enter here as minus 0.10. Okay. So minus 0.10. And here then, if delta goes above, then here I'll enter as 0 0.10, okay? So if you need, you can specify only one side of the value and can safely ignore the second value. For example, a stop loss will be hit when delta goes, let's say, above 0 0.10 and you can leave the delta goes below empty, okay? If you want, you can leave that um, alone, okay? And you can just uh, safely ignore the second value and just uh, enter the first uh, side of the value or vice versa, okay? Now, please note that do not enter values in the percentage, okay? You can use this to create delta neutral strategies also. So, this is how uh, you can set the stop loss condition onto your portfolio. That's a short str strangle portfolio, right? In my case. As you can see, this uh, on a stop loss is square of only loss making legs. So this will be applicable only in case of the combined stop loss. If this is ticked and combined stop loss is getting hit for the portfolio, then back and so will only close those legs that are in losses. It is very important to note that this will leave the profit making leg intact in the running condition and the stop loss will not be processed again. Okay. And uh, you can even give a uh, command to back and so that if it hits the stop loss, you can take these actions. That is none. Re-execute, square off other portfolio, execute other portfolio and re-execute at entry price. So let us understand each one of it one by one. So if you select none, no action will be taken. If you select re-execute, if this option is selected, then on a stop loss of the current portfolio, uh, stop loss you have defined as minus 0.10 and uh, on the above hand side it is plus 0.10 right so if this option is selected that is re-execute on hitting the stop loss of the uh, current portfolio back in so will make copy of the current portfolio and it will re-execute the same okay now let us talk about this uh, option that is a square of other option. So if you click here, you will find this tab here. On a stop loss of uh, this portfolio, that is this one, you can square off any other executing port, okay? As well as on selection of this option, you need to enter the name of the port name, whichever you want to square off, okay? Any other executing port if you want to square it off on hitting the stop loss of this portfolio that is uh, short strangle okay so here in you have to enter the name of the portfolio 
right now let us talk about the fourth one that is execute other portfolio on a stop loss of this uh, if it gets hit you can execute any existing portfolio as well it is very important to note that the other port should be in the disabled. Okay, it should be in the disabled mode. You just need to enter the name of the port here. Okay, and this is the fifth option that is re execute at the entry price. So, if you want your re execution to happen at your original entry price, then just click on it. Okay, so as of now, I am choosing none for this case and I'll save this portfolio with the na name Delta, okay? Delta, okay? I'll save this portfolio. I'll enable it, recalibrate it. I'll run it over simulator. I'll choose 6th December as my date of simulation. Just click on the strict timing and run it. Use this to expand your portfolio. Just drag to the right hand side. So as you can see that right now the delta of this individual leg of a shortest triangle is trading at 0.42 and this leg is trading at minus 0 0.50, right? So the combined delta of, the, of this portfolio is 0 0.08, which has not yet achieved the value of the imbalance, which I had mentioned, right? If delta goes below minus 0.10 or if delta goes above plus 0.10, then only it will square off my portfolio, right? So I'll just increase the speed so that I can showcase it to you if it hits the stop loss or target, okay? So if this combined delta achieves the value of 0.10, minus 0.10, or plus 0.10, then message will come in front of you that it has exited onto the stop loss, right? So we'll just wait for it to hit. Yes, here you go. It has exited onto the stop loss. And under the grid logs, you can find that combined minus 0.10 because I had given the two conditions of the loss minus 0.10 and plus 0.10 right so it has exited on to the minus 0.10 for the delta on the value minus 0.10 pnl minus 87 per lot right so this is how it works now in the second case i'll quickly showcase it to you how you can re-execute it how you can give command to the back end of re-execution if it hits the stop loss okay so for that, you have to give command to the back end so of re-execution. So while making the portfolio, you can just click on the add portfolio and here and just mention the value if delta goes below whatever uh, value you want to give, right? And just uh, click on the re-execute button onto the stop loss command, right? Just save this portfolio and my portfolio is saved. I'll enable it. I'll recalibrate it. I'll run on the same date that is 6th December. I'll click on the play button. Use this to expand it. Okay. Now, if the delta imbalance happens, right now the combined delta value of this portfolio is 0 0.03. If it achieves the level of minus 0 0.10 or plus 0 0.10, then it will square off that portfolio and then it will re-execute it will make copy of the current portfolio and it will execute the same okay it will keep on executing re-executing okay i'll increase the speed So as you can see that uh, it has achieved the level of 0.10 delta of a combined portfolio and that's the reason it uh, got re-executed. See, one copy, two copy and in fact the third copy has already uh, been formed. So with the name delta rex1, delta rex2, delta rex3. So this is how this command works. So I hope you find this video useful. Don't forget to smash like button. Thank you. Stay tuned for more informative videos. Bye-bye.